So the first type of the default result types that we're going to look at is the chaining result type. And this is pretty useful if you want to be able to chain multiple actions together. And the way that this works with the convention based configuration is that the actions have to be in the same package. And what I mean by this is basically they have to be in the same class. And so far we've only seen how to create one action per action class. But in reality, you can have multiple actions in the same class, you just have to declare what that endpoint is. So we can use an annotation here. So if we go at action, we can basically override the configuration. So let's say we use hi here. What this is going to do is instead of using the convention of hello for the URL, it's instead going to override that and say that it's going to execute this action if the URL is high. Now when we do this, it also makes it so that the convention isn't used for the return type. So we couldn't return success anymore, we'd have to return something like hello. So let's go ahead and try that out and see what happens here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new browser and I'm going to go to localhost 8080 and we're going to type in hi. Now you can see it's going to hello struts2. So it's basically executing this action by us remapping this. Now. If we want to chain actions together, we can basically create another action inside here. So we'll just create a method here and we'll call this method do more. And we'll add an annotation for this one as well. And the way that we have to do this when we chain them together is we want this to be high dash do more. And what this is going to do is basically whatever we return from this result is going to be appended onto the original action. So we want to return do more here. And what will happen is this will automatically chain to this other one. So when this finishes executing, it's going to look and see is there something that is high dash do more. And since it'll find this action, it'll go ahead and execute this action. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and set the greeting here differently. We'll say did more so that we can indicate that we've actually hit the second action. And then these actions would be chained together. So first it would execute this one and then it would execute this action. So let's go ahead and try that out. So we'll go ahead and go to our browser here. And if I refresh here, you can see it's showing did more, which indicates that it chained these two together. And just using this action annotation can be pretty useful if you want to override the convention or you want to do something like use chaining, but you still don't want to have to use the struts.xml to configure this. It can figure this out by convention as long as you follow this particular convention.